Hi everyone! Thank you for clicking on my video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This is meant to be a fairly simple, fun, glittery holiday slash all year round go-to glam look. <laughs> Let's get started on this tutorial. I'm being sure to apply the primer all around my eye. I'm also bringing it down along my lower lash line and then like a little bit underneath it. The eyeshadows I'm using are from the Carla Cosmetics Romance Palette. My discount code for Carla Cosmetics is Jules with a Z. I'm starting with that warm burgundy color and I'm just trying to build it up around my outer V area. I'm using my Sigma E36 brush, which I like to kind of map out where I'm gonna be putting the eyeshadow but it's not the best packing brush because it's more of a blending brush. And then I'm switching to this small shader brush and using this to apply the eyeshadow around my inner crease and inner corner. I'm bringing it throughout my crease, really making sure to get the shadow in between there. I'm just smoothing out all the shadow that I packed down with the other brush. I'm also lightly blending the edges. It's important to blend the edges lightly because if you go at it too hard, then you can like take off some of the primer and then your eyeshadow will look patchy. I'm using a Sigma E27 brush to start packing on that other eyeshadow color. I'm using another Sigma E36 brush to bring the lighter shade around my inner corner and inner part of the crease. This little part of my face between like my inner corner and my eyebrow and my nose is the most annoying place to put makeup. Like, it never cooperates. I don't know if anyone else has that problem or if it's just the shape of my face is unfortunate. It looks really messed up right now, but I'm gonna fix this. I'm going back in with the darker shade and also like a mixture between the two shades and using that to blend the two together. And then I'm going in with my E36 brush and the lighter eyeshadow. And I'm gonna start bringing it from this outer V area down below my lower lash line. This looks pretty funny like before you add other eyeshadow because it like accentuates your eye bag. So I'm bringing that color down towards my cheekbone. I think I might be a little too stoned to be filming this might as well do more be gone it might feel weird blending your eyeshadow like down this low but i like the shape that it like gives my eyeshadow that's what i'm going for here now what am i gonna do i'm gonna use this little blue brush i'm working on my british accent i'm bringing that darker eyeshadow down along my lower lash line when i was in high school i got made fun of for having like upward inflections i think that's what they're called google upward inflection <gasps> check it out thank you siri that's that's all i was right i'm a genius it's also called upspeak i don't know i'll have french fries i got made fun of for it so now especially when i'm filming i try to like control the tone of my voice people should not be made fun of i'm having a little bit of trouble I feel a little better now that I've obsessed over it for 10 minutes. Dragging the darker shade along my lid because I forgot to do it earlier. There's going to be eyeshadow over it, but I like to have like the dark base. I don't know what it is. My eyes have a shitload of veins right now. I'm going to use this pink duochrome shade and apply this to my lid. I'm just going in with a brush to blend that out up into my crease a little bit. I'm using my Sephora brand retractable eyeliner and applying this to my waterline. I'm going in with black eyeshadow. I'm using a flat brush to bring this along my lower lash line. I'm using an angled brush and just bringing the black along my lash line, but I'm not really trying to make like eyeliner. I'm really just trying to darken my actual lash line. Bringing that black up through my outer V very lightly. I'm not trying to add too much black, just the right amount. I'm also bringing a little bit of black into my inner corner area, like right in the inner part of my crease here, and bringing it down to my inner corner. 
Honestly, if I were like just doing makeup to go out to dinner, I probably wouldn't add glitter. But glitter just looks so pretty when I'm filming, so I do want to add some. I'm using Mrs. Rose Glitter, which is also from Carla Cosmetics. It's, I believe, in the Romance Collection along with the palette that I used. I will have the information down in the description along with my discount code. For glitter glue, I really like ABH because you just kind of paint it on like nail polish. I just apply some glitter to a brush, but I'm tapping off the excess glitter and patting it on. If I look at it for too long, I'm going to end up tweaking it for a half an hour, so I'm just going to do myself a favor and put down the brush as soon as I finish this. <laughs> I'm actually going to go in and finish the rest of my face before I finish my eyes. I'm just re-blending the foundation around like my eye bags because it creased a little bit. Get some powder all up in those wrinkles. I'm also going to set my nose. I'm gonna use this cream blush. It's called Pinched. It's from Melt Cosmetics. Of course, I'm gonna add like a good amount of cream blush. It looks less dark on camera than it does in person. <laughs> I'm a loud sneezer. For my contour, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Face Sculpt and Highlight. I'm gonna bring it up. Ooh, that's a lot. Ooh, blend it out. Ooh, it's not blending out. I don't know if it like makes much of a difference, but whatever. I'm like here for it. Oh my god. I'm just all over the place. Might as well contour the chin too. The contour is very abundant right now. Tone it down. I'm just gonna mess with it for like five more minutes. Oh, I just got this product and I really like it. This is from the brand Kaleidos. It's called Space Age Mars Melter. It's not picking up as much color like on camera as you can see in person, but it's like orangey pink and I'm obsessed with it. I do want some matte blush. I'm going to use Rosé from Laura Mercier. Looks like these. This, 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 wow, wow. <laughs> I just blew myself away. You can kind of see when I turn to the side. It's like very, it's making the blush like highlight shade I put on like very pigmented and making it stand out a lot. I'm definitely adding too much. I'm going to have to go back and like fix this somehow, but for now I'm living my best life. I'm going to go back in with my contour brush and just kind of like attempt to tone this down. I'm going to use the light eyeshadow from the quad and just apply some to the high points of my cheekbone like right here it looks very similar to like the thing that i already have on it's just more it's like lighter and yellower so it really brings it out a little further my cheeks are looking very three-dimensional my skin is in a dire state right now i really i i can barely look at myself in the mirror that's why i had to get zooted to film this freaking video I'm just going to set my entire face because I only set like some places earlier. So I'm just going to go in with my powder. Set. <sighs> Probably inhaling freaking talc right now. I'm going to use MAC's Edge to Edge Lip Liner. For lipstick, I actually had a lot of different options that I really loved with this like color story. But this one just matches so perfectly, I can't not use it. This is Urban Decay's Shine Lip Shit. Lip shit. <laughs> this is Urban Decay's Shine Lipstick in the shade Local. It's shiny, but it's not glossy, you know? I'm going to use this gloss from Milani. It's called Peachella. I think this will look good. I think this might be a controversial choice, but I'm going to add some rhinestones. I'm going to put a little dot of glue. Every time I use rhinestones, which is pretty often, people ask me what I use to apply them. This is called a wax pencil. I'm just placing a slightly larger rhinestone to the outer corner of my eye. This rhinestone is definitely a little bit higher than this rhinestone, but this eyebrow is also a little bit higher, so I feel like it's working, and I'm going to let it be. 
because I can't fix it. <laughs> I'm gonna use these lashes. They're from the Lily Lashes Sephora collection and they're called Beverly Drive. I just attempted to style my hair and now it's time to accessorize. Ah! Finally, we have the finished look. I'm really pleased with how this came out. It just got a teeny weeny bit out of hand with the pink. <laughs> I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!